Hi, I'm Mrs. Navarre. Thanks for joining me for another NAB science, science experiment. Today I'm going to do the experiment um, with the marshmallow peaks, and we're going to use the microwave to see what happens when we put them in there. I'm really excited about doing this experiment. I've never done it before, so I know my daughter's tried it a couple times, and she says it's really fun, so I can't wait to get started. I went ahead and got my materials, which really isn't very much. I have a work tray, as always. I've got a um, paper plate, and then I've got my peaks. I went to the store, it's almost Easter time, so they were pretty easy to find, and I've got the bunny peak, so I'm ready to go ahead and see what happens. Okay, so I went ahead and opened my package, and I went, I'm went. i gonna go ahead and get one bunny out, and I'm just gonna start off with one, because I wanna see what happens when I just melt the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in my plate, my little bunny, isn't he so cute? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick him in the center, and now I'm gonna go ahead and stick him in the microwave and see what happens. Okay, so I opened, my microwave and I'm going to go ahead and put my bunny in there and then I'm going to set my microwave for about 30 seconds. So I'll go ahead and close that up and I'll hit 30 and then go ahead and start it and you can't really see it very well because of the screen there but I'm going to kind of keep an eye on my little bunny and see what happens to him um, and I can see already oh my goodness oh my poor bunny Okay, so maybe 30 seconds might have even been a little bit too long. So he's getting really big. I don't know if you can see him in there, but he's getting really big. And I'm going to go ahead and stop. And my bunny has just, wow, really inflated. This time I'm going to go ahead and try two bunnies. And I'm going to kind of pose them a little bit and see what happens when I cook the two together. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in there. And I'll still set my um, microwave for 30, but I'm gonna stop it when I see it getting a little bit um, puffed up or like it's gonna really explode. So I don't know, we'll just see what happens. So let's go ahead and start that for 30 seconds. Hit start. And again, at least you can see a little bit through the microwave um, window, but something that you want to try at home so that you can really get the full effect. You can see they're starting to puff up. I'm going to stop it right now. It's only been a, not quite the 20 seconds, but you can see, oh, they're really puffed up. And you can now they're starting to shrink back down. So this is what's so cool about being a, a scientist. You can just kind of play around and see what happens. Now these probably won't leave such a mess on my paper plate. The last paper plate I kind of had to throw away because they stuck to them. But I'm going to go ahead and um, just play around. You can try three bunnies. You can pose them. You can just kind of have fun with them. I mean, you have a whole uh, thing of peeps to, to play around with. So this is a really fun science experiment. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'm having fun and I'm going to keep playing. So go ahead and try it yourself. Okay, so I went ahead and did three this time, and you can see they've been out of the microwave for a little while, so they're already starting to shrink back down. They're shrinking back down pretty much to the original size. So as a scientist, you wanna play around with different things. Um, you can pose them differently. You could try some other kinds of peeps. Uh, what happens if I put these peeps back in the microwave? Will they blow up again, or will they stay this size? Will they shrink? What happens? You also wanna think about the process. Okay, so when I started off with my peeps, what did they look like? What happened when I put my peeps in the microwave? How was there a difference between them being in for 10 seconds, 20 seconds versus 30 seconds? Um, and so just kind of playing around with different times or different types of peeps, different positions. Just have fun with it because that's what scientists do. I love doing science experiments like this. I have some other videos if you're interested in checking those out. And I also have some packets. The links are below if you're interested in those. So thanks for visiting me and until next time. Bye.